you have to work on understanding what your niche is first. And what I mean by that is not just majoring in marketing or majoring in finance or majoring in whatever you're majoring in here at the university. It's really about you understanding what is it that's in the market that's out there that I can really get a certification on, number one. Uh, but what is it also that I can grow in as such a high demand, but yet there aren't a lot of people that actually doing the job and doing the work. It was a great opportunity, but the thing about it is, is that I didn't really understand what my niche was. I didn't understand what I wanted to do in life and go further. I love dealing with sales, I love dealing with people, but I didn't really know what is it that I can really do that I love that I can make a lot of money in as well. Because at that time, I just wanted to make money and I wanted a great career that I can grow in. Well, I ended up calling this one job. I ended up applying to actually several different jobs after I got laid off. And this one particular job, they said, hey, we have a position available, but um, you know, you have to wait. And I said, okay, that's fine. But then when I was on the other line, because I actually called them, and I normally don't call jobs. I called this one particular job and I asked them, and I said, hey, uh, I really want to work here. And then she said, excuse me, is this Joshua Jackson? So I'm looking at the phone like, okay, is she psychic? Like, how does she know my first and last name? And she was like, we worked together at Career Builder before they did the layoffs. And I was like, oh, yeah, I remember. So we started talking. Next thing you know, where you know, I'm in an interview you know, chair just talking with the different people. Uh, and then I went ahead and gave them a call again just to do follow-up calls because that's always important as well. Then I got the job. So then at this time, I'm like, okay, I got a job and something that I you know, think I would love to do. But I still didn't understand more about what my niche was. And so then I said, okay, let me just take all of my skills that I've learned from USF, from the different jobs that I've had in the corporate workplace, and let me just kind of put them all together. And so what I did was um, I started learning more about with that position because I did customer service like a technical support agent, basically. Uh, so I handled cases. And with, with the cases that we were handling, it was with a particular software. So I don't know if you all have heard of the software salesforce.com. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you, you have, okay. So with Salesforce.com, it's a customer relationship management software. And it's in the cloud, so everything now is transferring to the cloud, to the cloud, cloud computing, cloud space, et cetera, like that. Well, with Salesforce, I said, you know, I think this is a great opportunity for me to understand a little bit more about what my niche could be and what that demand is outside of the, just the four walls that I was in at the office I was working out in Atlanta. And I started doing research and looking at different things and saying, oh, this might be a really great tool you know, that I can really learn more about. Because I've always been really good at talking with people, like I said before, at understanding processes, because I did major in school of business here at USF. So I was able to really understand like the operation side of business, how a business needs to run, but also understand processes of how businesses need to work better to have an efficient workforce. And so what I ended up doing was I ended up uh, going to uh, just going to different resources through you know online resources, different articles, studying more about this whole Salesforce tool because it was still brand new in the market in the South. And next thing you know, like I just started getting you know understanding more about certifications. And that's another thing when I found out what my niche was and found out that this is something I could grow in. Then I was like, okay, I have got to get certified. I got certified. That's when I started seeing more and more and more opportunities just coming and coming and coming. 